So it's finally time to take a look at the Deep Cool Assassin 2. This is a massive air cooler. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with not just any CPU cooler review. This is the flagship air cooler from Deep Cool, which is just massive. We're talking like 1.3 kilograms massive. So first of all, we'll take a look at what's in the box. Then we'll take a look at the features of this cooler. And then I'll run some temperature tests for you guys to tell you how good the unit is. So as soon as you open the box, you'll notice that this unit comes packaged very well. You get two fans pre-attached to the unit and one being a 140 millimeter fan, the other being a 120 millimeter fan. Now they are both PWM controlled fans and they also come in this rubberized material that means you don't need brackets to attach them to the heatsink. So you can use them in other applications if you wish. They're also themed red and black. Also included is the mounting kit, which will allow you to mount this CPU cooler on pretty much every socket dating way back to LGA 775. You've also got the GamerStorm fan header hub there as well, which will allow you to get more connections out of one four pin or three pin CPU fan header. Now the unit itself is made of aluminium. You've also got eight heat pipes there, which split into 16 extensions over two different towers. Now the base of the unit is a mirror finish. You've also got the dimensions of the base there. Now the dimensions I measured for the whole unit came in at 153 millimeters by 140 millimeters by 164 millimeters tall. And the weight came in at precisely 1.275 kilograms with the fans attached. This is just for the unit itself. Now with the fans themselves, they come with braided cabling as well as the GamerStorm fan hub as well. And the fans, I measured them spinning down to 300 RPM, which at these speeds I could not hear them. And moving up all the way to 1411 RPM, they were pretty quiet still. So I'll just give you guys a noise test for yourselves and you can hear how the Deep Cool Assassin sounds. Okay, so we're just going to do a noise test now for the assassin 2 and i'm sitting probably about an arm's length away very indicative of real world scenario uh, so let's just take a moment to listen to the noise so now we'll go right up to the cooler and see if you guys can hear the noise Now what about the performance? This is the big part you guys have all been waiting for and I'm pleased to say that this unit did perform really well and my Haswell 5820K at a 4.3 gigahertz overclock at 1.25 volt, which is pretty much the max stable for comparing all the different coolers. Even though this could go up to 4.4 gigahertz, I had to measure it against other coolers. So we can see here that it got a max temperature of 76 degrees in a 22 degree uh, cooled ambient room condition. These were consistent across all the benchmarks. So it did score very well here and even at those speeds it was pretty quiet as well. Now the interesting thing in here is, is that when I measured the surface temperatures with an IR gun you can see that this thing is barely getting hot at all. So it's doing a great job of cooling not only the 5820k but now we'll move over to the fourth, I mean the 6600K, where you can see here that again it just performed really well. I think the max temperature I scored here was 61 degrees. Now that's amazing for a 4.6 gigahertz overclock of 1.35 volt on the uh, Skylake architecture. You can see there it beat out the other two air coolers. However, it just lost slightly to the Captain 240, which is the all in one solution. So now it's time for me to give you guys my thoughts and opinions and close off with a score. And honestly, when I picked up this cooler, I was just impressed with pretty much everything. The build quality is great. The installation is a breeze, even though it's tedious due to the actual size of the cooler 
everything made sense. The instruction manual was very well laid out. And I'm gonna give kudos to Deep Cool there because I've tried different coolers in the past and the instruction manuals have just been confusing. This on the other hand, you'll have no problems installing it. Though one thing I will mention on my 5820K system is that the cooler just barely cleared the graphics card. So on my 6600K in the background here, it's not a problem, but it was just barely clearing that, clearing that. So another good thing about this unit is the fans. They're quiet, they're well constructed. You can also pull the blade off from the module to clean it if need be. So now this leaves me with my final score of four and a half stars out of five. I wanted to give this five stars. However, I did have some trouble when I was mounting this in my Skylake rig. I actually had to get a bracket and bend it a little bit with a pair of pliers. So some people may come into problems with installation in Skylake rigs. That's something to be careful though. Everything else aside, this unit is absolutely amazing. The build quality is great. Deep Cool have thought of pretty much everything that the end user may run into. Great well laid out instruction manual, very easy to install, comes with good thermal paste to boot. And you can also get this unit for $80. So at least when I checked on the internet for that price, it's really good considering the capabilities of this cooler. It's a 1.3 kg cooler with two fans included. So I'm very impressed with what Deep Cool have done here and I can highly recommend this unit especially for high-end systems like your Enthusiast Line 5820Ks or your 6700Ks if you just want a massive air cooler to show off. But it'll do a great job of any scenario. Just make sure you have the room to fit it in there. So anyway, guys, that's about it from me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about the Deep Cool Assassin 2, then drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll catch you guys with another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Also, don't forget to subscribe.